Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. In this video we start to populate the Canadian exhibits. From the main entrance, into the transept, and turning left into the British nave, one of the first things we see is the Canadian Timber Trophy. Timber was a huge industry in Canada. Principally white and red pine was formed into vast rafts up to three acres in size, floated down the Quebec and St. Lawrence rivers to the port of Quebec. On top of the timber trophy is one of two canoes in the Canadian section. Leaning against the west end of the timber trophy is the jaw of a sperm whale. This exhibit was not from Canada, but from Van Diemen's Land, now known as Tasmania. The jaw model used in the simulation is from the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. The main Canadian court is directly opposite the timber trophy. The first thing we notice is the large number of barrels in this section. According to the exhibition catalogue, these contained wheat, oats, peas, beans, horse beans, yellow beans, barley, buckwheat, flour, oatmeal, Indian meal, flax seed, timothy seed, ship's biscuits, beef, pork, and tongues. To the left of the barrels is a church bell, cast of Canadian copper, by George Molson of Montreal. As we move into the main section of the Canadian court, we encounter various musical instruments. The piano, by John W. Herbert of Montreal, was described as being more resilient to the extremes of the Canadian climate than were European instruments. Smaller musical instruments are in the cabinet to the left. Moving to the right we encounter a cabinet containing hats. Continuing round the west end of the Canadian court, we find a sleigh. On the right are more barrels. Looking up, hanging over the centre of the court, we see a large canoe of white birch bark, 24 foot long able to carry 20 men, but light enough to be carried by three men, essential when avoiding rapids. The catalogue described this as having been rowed 3,000 miles, carrying fur from the far west for the Hudson Bay Company. The centrepiece of the Canadian court is a fire engine by G. Perry of Montreal. The hand-driven pump is capable of lifting its water supply over 30 foot, and can project a stream 180 foot high. This fire engine won a prize at the exhibition, which must have pleased those who personally subscribed to send it. Join me for my next video, where I continue to add to the building contents.